Okay, so we are going to make our protein coffee. Okay? Okay, coffee. Oh. Bruh. Hey guys, I'm Francesca. So I decided to start this YouTube channel to try a bunch of stuff that I love and show you guys and also try stuff that people recommended to me um, or that I just thought was pretty cool. So keep watching, subscribe if you wanna see more, but um, let's get started. So today I um, am going to review a protein coffee, which I'm super excited about because each morning I'm not a big breakfast eater. So I usually just have a protein shake and espresso that I put into my shake every morning. So I ended up finding this company on Instagram. Um, they're called Main Roast and they created a protein coffee. So today we're going to try it. So, um, the first flavor is called Mocha Latte. Yum. And then, um, the second flavor is called Caramel Frappe. I don't really like caramel drinks too much, but I'm excited to see what it's going to taste like. And then, um, I also got iced coffee. Whoops. I already opened it <laughs> because I was already excited to try it. So, um, yeah, I tried that flavor and it was good. So, um, okay. So, oh, and here's the little baby shaker bottle that it came with, which was pretty cool because we all need more shaker bottles. So why not? You know? Okay. So I'm going to go through the specs of what it includes. So um, let's go with like caramel frappe. They're all about the same. So they include 15 grams of protein, two shots of espresso, which I think they said is equivalent to 115 milligrams of caffeine, which is pretty good. So, um, and the best part is, is that there's no sugar added so there's like only one gram of sugar which is really good um no trans fat it's gluten free if y'all are into that so it's gluten free um and it's less than 100 calories per serving so this one bag they're all the same size um they're 15 servings per container so 15 scoops in here that you can create so um, it has one gram of fat, three grams of carbs, and 15 grams of protein. So it's not too shabby. Pretty good. Um, so, um, let's see. Oh, also, if you're, like, lactose intolerant, probably not going to drink this because it includes milk. So it has, like, the whey protein and then Colombian coffee. So I know a lot of people or coffee fanatics will spend a lot of money um, buying coffee at Starbucks or wherever you go to buy your coffee. Um, so Frappuccinos, for example, or Macchiatos can be like about $5 a drink, which I think is pretty crazy. So, um, now let's compare the pricing. This protein bag, like I said, has 15 servings, which is really not that much. Um, but the price for one bag is $26.99, um, which isn't too bad, um, considering it has 15 grams of protein. And I guess if you want, you can use it as a meal replacement. Um, maybe you can add a, another scoop of your own protein if you like more protein, protein. Um, but $26 or $27 a bag divided by 15 servings comes out to about a dollar and 80 cents, um, per drink, which is really not bad and it actually tastes pretty good. And I used a calculator before I said that. So, um, now we'll kind of go and I'll show you how to make this, but first, um, I'll read you the directions. So it says in a shaker, you just mix one scoop of this in like six to eight, eight ounces of cold water or with milk. So this protein is or protein coffee is really only good um, cold. Supposedly, I haven't tried it hot, but it says to drink it cold, so whatever. It's summer, right? So it's better that way. Um, and then you essentially, you pour one scoop of this, 
six to eight ounces of water, put it in your shaker cup, shake it, and then I transfer it into another glass with ice in it, and then I drink it. So, I will have to say that because I tried the iced coffee already, um, it was hecka good, okay? So, um, I was pleasantly surprised. So when I go to Starbucks, I really only get black, black coffee and I don't get anything with sugar. First of all, I can't really drink milk and I don't like a lot of sugary drinks. So, um, when I tried the iced coffee, I was super surprised because it's not that sweet. Um, I lied. It is pretty sweet, but it's not like, um super sugary I'll say that so it was really awesome and it was nice to drink um, on ice okay so now the caramel frappe and then the mocha latte are what I have left and I haven't tried so I'm kind of nervous to try this one because you know but we'll see all right so now let's actually make the drink okay so what you're gonna need is your shaker bottle or whatever you're gonna use to mix your drink and then I actually put after I shake it I mix it or I pour it into a cup with ice so let's do it um let's try the mocha latte flavor first so let's rip it oh did I rip it wrong Oh, no, no. Okay. It smells good. Okay. Mocha latte, people. We're going to try that. So, what I'm going to do is pour, like, what, six to eight ounces of water in here. I'm just going to do a little bit because tasting all these, I'll probably get pretty wired, but who cares? So, let's do this. Okay, one scoop, pour it in here. Okay, shake it. It shakes pretty easily. That sounded stupid. Of course. <laughs> it's, so you just shake it and then, um, so I have some ice cubes here. And now I'm just gonna pour it in. Okay, it smells really good. Okay. The moment of truth. This one's pretty good. So, it's pretty creamy and it's smooth. So, um, I like it. Tastes like coffee and tastes like mocha. And it's not too sweet, but it has like, um, honestly, it just tastes like a Starbucks coffee. I don't know how to compare it. So this is the mocha latte. I like it. Um, so far, I already tried, um, okay, this is the mocha latte. Okay, probably already showed you guys. I, I said that I tried the iced coffee first, and I still prefer this one over the mocha, but I've never really been a mocha person, so it's probably just me. All right, so now we're gonna try the um, caramel frap, which I'm kind of nervous about. So. Take my shaker bottle. So you can use um, milk or, or water. Uh, I actually just prefer water. I was almost gonna try almond milk, but um, I was afraid it was gonna be a little too sweet. So um, just with the water alone, it's pretty good. Like pretty sweet as it is. So caramel frap, smells good. For that. Okay, it 
so this one's actually good. Okay. Wow, that was good. I don't know. I'm like really surprised. Okay. So caramel mo the oh shoot, sorry. Caramel frappe I tried. Really good. I tried the, the mocha latte. And then um I tried the iced coffee. So if I were to rate the flavors, iced coffee is my favorite. Second is a caramel frappe. Super surprised about that. And then last would be the mocha latte. But none of them are bad. They're all really good. So I would say A plus on flavor. And um, they're, they're super smooth, not grainy. I'm used to drinking protein shakes, like whey protein. So it, I feel like it just slightly tastes like whey protein, but it's not bad. It's pretty hidden, I would say. Dang. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching my video, you guys. Um, here's the discount code that you can use on their website. It'll give you 15% off your entire order. Um, I think you can only use it once for your first order, but go ahead and check it out to save some money. And tune in next time for... Um, more reviews and comment below if you have any suggestions for me or things that you love that you'd like me to review. Um, and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.